Shalom, brothers and sisters. Today I want to talk about 3 John, the letter. I want to talk about that, and I'm going to, I'm going to read the letter to you. First off, I want to thank you again for tuning in, but uh, 3 John was probably written near the time of John's evangel, about maybe around 90, the common era. While John's name is not mentioned in the three epistles, several early church fathers point to John as the author, as is also evident from many stylistic similarities in the writing. As with John, the second John, this epistle is likely written as a letter for general circulation. Its message was remain faithful to the original doctrines as delivered by the apostles and to watch out for false teachers. In the letter mentioned in the letter mentioned three specific names likely ministers or evangelists while Gaius and Demetrius were noted for their faithfulness Diotrephes was guilty of malicious behavior against the faith of the apostles making this distinction between truth and error is necessary for all the assembly as we find in this epistle and throughout the New Testament, those who reject the message of truth, especially those who are once 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 enlightened, are to be removed from the body. To ignore this action is to allow corruption to take root and permeate the assembly. You know, that's like a seed of evil which hatches and grows and grows and grows. Now, here's some scripture to look up and get you know, look up, get your Bibles out and look these up. Matthew 18, verse 17. Romans 16, verse 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, 1, 5, and then skip to 11, or 9 to 11, 2 Thessalonians 3, 14 through 15, 1 Timothy 1, verse 19 to 21, and then 2 John, 2 John to be uh, verse 11, uh, 7 through 11. Now, I wonder, this is, you know, these letters... Even though they might be short, they're very inspired and very, very important. And we could take a lot out of this. We could, we could learn a lot. Even if the letters are little, we could learn learn from it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna read this small letter. The elder unto the the well loved Gaius, whom I have loved in the truth, beloved with, with uh, beloved. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and, and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no great, greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou dost faithfully whatever, whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to the strangers, which hath borne witness of thy charity before the assembly, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a righteous sort, thou shalt do well, because that for this his name's sake they went forth taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. Truth be told. Okay, now it says, I wrote unto the assembly, but Diotrephes, who loved having preeminence among them, receiveth us, receive us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, pratting against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren's brethren, and forbiddeth them that would and casteth them out of the assembly. So this this guy, he's he's talking bad about the apostles, and he's casting out people that are sticking sticking up for the truth and the apostle and Yeshua. This guy, he loves himself more. He put himself on a pedestal. You know, hey, I'm a I'm a I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher now. You know, and I'm high and mighty. I know everything. I'm better than all these people. It's kind of like a pride, pride, and cockiness, and envy. Beloved, follow not that which is evil. But that which is good, he that doeth good is of Elohim, but he that doeth evil hath not seen Elohim. Demetrius has good report of all men and of all the truth itself, yeah, 
and we also bear what record, and you know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet the friends by name. So, we got to, you know, can't put up with, you can't put up with wickedness, evil. You can't put up with pride or anything with people. You got to, you got to boot them out of, you got to excommunicate them, disfellowship these kind of people because it's not good for the, it's not good for the assembly. And this guy here, he, he was so full of himself. He thought he took it upon himself. He thought he had the authority to kick out anybody he wanted to, you know, no, it should have been the other way around, and and he should have been kicked out, and he probably was. If John went there, he probably went there, and he probably removed him from office, or maybe maybe he repented. Maybe he repented, saw the error of his way, and you know, and did a complete turn. I mean, I hope he did. I really hope he did. But scripture didn't get into that details. But you know, that's less lesson learned. You know, you know, one little. You, one little leaven right over there, you know, leaven a puff, puff up, you know, like the Old Testament says, you know, it messes up the whole lo the whole loaf. But yeah, that's all I want to say. You know, I just want to share that because I, I do I do believe these little letters are important, even though these you know like Jude and the three the three Johns, you know, they're in the back back and the Peter they're in the back of the. It doesn't mean they're less important. They're just as important as any of the other scriptures. And, you know, it's nice that they came down to us so we could actually read them, study them, and take something from them. So that's all I've got to say about that. And thank you again for, you know, watching me. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell and like, like me, like, and watch my other channels, share this with other people. Comment below. I'll appreciate it. Love to hear from you. And with that said and done, I thank you. And peace out. Shalom.